want to convert this plain map picture into map animation like this. Add the picture into the timeline and zoom in the inspector to cover the frame. Right click on the layer and open Infusion page. In Fusion page, add a paint node as shown. After that, click on this polyline stroke. Also make sure that you are on single viewer. You can change from here. Now add points where you want your path to be. Go to brush controls, select this solid and also change its color as you like. Adjust the size too. After that, go to Stroke Controls and bring the spacing all the way to 1.5 or similar to make the path dotted. You can also make the path curved by clicking on points and adjusting as shown in the video. Now select the paint node and at the first frame, add the keyframe on right on and go to certain frame forward where you want your animation to end and also add the keyframe there. At first frame, bring the right on all the way down to zero and you will get your animation like this. Now duplicate the paint node and go to modifiers. Firstly change the color and bring the spacing all the way down to zero. Now at first frame change the end and right on to 0.001 and in the end frame bring the start all the way to 0.999. You will notice that the path is following the yellow dot. Also, there is random keyframe added in the middle. Remove those keyframes, as we only want the keyframe at first and last. After that, we will change the yellow dot to plain PNG. For that, click on this button, drag a bit below, and change the image source to clip and add the plain PNG from your files. You will notice that the dot is replaced by plain. Now click on this button to get its original color. Increase its size as much as you like, but make sure you are increasing the size, which is in bottom. Now remove unnecessary keyframe in the middle and go to spline. And in spline, make sure to select both paint, click on the zoom to fit option. Select all points and click S to smooth the animation. Now go to edit page and review the animation. Now add adjustment clip above the clip. Add vignette to the adjustment clip and adjust as you like. Add radial blur to the adjustment clip and adjust as you like. Now go to video and add a keyframe in zoom and position in first frame and adjust them as shown. Now go to the frame where it reaches the final destination and do the same thing. In between them, add another keyframe and adjust them. And you will get something like this. At last, add a SFX as you like, and you will get this as a final result.